Gun owners treated as pariahs. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. There's a story brewing in the nation's capital that I think deserves a bit of attention across the country. It involves a city councillor and longtime Canadian Armed Forces veteran who also happens to be a recreational gun owner, a legal gun owner, a recreational shooter. That has him treated badly by some in the community. I'm talking about Jody Middick, first time city councillor, 20 year veteran of the Canadian Forces. His book is called Unflinching, The Making of a Canadian Sniper. It's endorsed by Don Cherry and Christy Blatchford. That tells you a little bit about Middick and his story. But he got into trouble from one councillor, the police chief, and a city columnist for the Ottawa Sun because he happened to tweet out a picture of a new purchase. This is what he, he put out that got him in trouble. This picture of two new pistols, one for him, one for his wife. They're brand new Sig Sauer P320s. They look pretty sweet to me. I wouldn't mind shooting them myself. But Medic put this picture out there and that led Ottawa Sun columnist Sue Sharing to say it's bad timing and in poor taste. Why? Because there's been shootings in Ottawa lately. There was a shooting and murder not far from where Medic lives. He had nothing to do with it, neither did any other law-abiding gun owner. But Sharing had the gall to link them. Then she got the police chief to pile on as well. Ottawa Police Chief Charles Bordalo saying, there are laws that govern lawful gun ownership. There's storage laws that exist. I'm not against legitimate collectors, but they've got to follow the laws and having firearms in your residence increases the likelihood of your house being targeted. Now, according to firearms law expert Solomon Friedman, that's been debunked, but it hasn't stopped people like Chief Bordalo and others from putting it out there. Eli El Shantiri, a fellow counselor with Medic, who cheers the police services board, said, But one thing I know for sure, more guns never make anything safer. Tell that to people who've been liberated from occupying armies. I bet they would beg to differ. But the worst case of the media piling on, I think, has to go to the state broadcaster. Medic was called on to CBC's local television news program to talk about what happened. Check out the arrogance of the anchor here. Check out the how could you do this, you're a city councillor narrative that they try and put forward. With respect, in the past, you weren't a city councillor. Yeah, that's true. So given the fact that you're a civic leader, does that not mean that it's incumbent upon you to demonstrate the leadership that is expected from a person in that, in that position? And where was I lacking leadership? Well, I think, I think that the concern and, and the reason why some people might yeah. be alarmed is that at a time when we're trying to downplay guns, perhaps in the community, and we're trying to... Downplay illegal guns. Illegal guns. And certainly, criminals. Certainly. Yeah. C certainly. But yeah. I think perhaps the specter of a civic leader brandishing guns, or at least celebrating the fact that they, they purchased guns, might kind of rub people the wrong way. And, and, and well, it might, might concern them that, that this mm -hmm. is not the leadership that they're looking for. Well, that's fine. That's completely up to them. We live in a free democratic country and they're able to vote for whoever they want. Owning a gun in Canada is not a crime if you're doing it legally. That's what Councillor Middick and millions, literally millions of other Canadians do. And yet they're treated like outcasts. This is how you get treated if you are a public official that happens to say, yeah, I own guns. Yeah, I like shooting. Yeah, I like blowing off steam at the range. This isn't how things should be. Gun ownership in Canada has a long and storied history. Gun ownership in Canada used to be considered much more normal. We need to get back to that point and not give in to the, the folks that would shame you for having a gun. Saskatoon is looking at an anti-bullying bylaw. I think that's pretty ridiculous, but if it comes out, don't you think we'd be able to apply it to the way gun owners are treated in too much of this country? Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.